So, my grandparents didn't approve of my parents' wedding. And when I say my grandparents, I don't mean my mother's par parents, and I don't mean my parents, dad's parents. I mean none of them. Neither side of the family approved of it. And the reason for this on my mom's side of the family, I mean, you can look at me. I'm wearing, I'm wearing a tie. I'm wearing a vest. I am painfully white. And white people are obsessed with their nationalities. And so my mom's side of the family is Irish, 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 Cherokee, shh, Irish, Irish, Irish. <laughs> my dad's side of the family is a little Irish, a little Scotch, a little Welsh, and a little British. So my grandmother, when my mom told her she was going to marry my dad, said, no, don't marry him. He's going to be cold. He's going to be awful. He's British. You can't marry an English man. My dad's side of the family, Irish Catholic on both sides, my mom's a nice Irish Catholic girl. She comes, she visits them. On the first visit, on the way up, my dad tells her, now I don't want you to take this the wrong way. They're not going to like you. <laughs> she almost called off the wedding because of that. But he was right, and they didn't like her. They didn't like her because her dad was a farmer, and my dad's dad was an accountant for various businesses in Pittsburgh, including various mob-owned businesses. So my dad's side of the family came from money. My mom's side didn't. And that was a problem for them. Enough of a problem that they would not speak to my dad for 20 years. The first, I, I did manage to visit my grandparents twice before I was 15. It was because my mom forced my dad to take us there. She also forced him to call my my dad's side of the family every Christmas because they're your family. You have to talk to them. You have to see them. When I was 15, my mom unfortunately died of cancer. This was the first time I saw most of my dad's side of the family. In the years following that, I would visit them occasionally because I lived in the area and that's how my mom raised me. You visit the family. You visit the family. So I would go and they would tell me stories about the dealies, the dealie side of the family. Oh, the dealies were this, the dealies were that. Your green eyes, which I get from my mother, my very Irish mother. Oh, those, those come from your great grandfather dealie. Like, no, they don't. They were actively trying to write my mother out of the family history. My grandmother, who did not approve of my parents' wedding, at the memorial service for my mother, we had it up in Detroit where all the family was, she took him aside. She said to him, you are always good to Kathleen. You are always good to her. And you will always be a part of this family. A few months later, unfortunately, she died. But I know where my family is. My name is Dealey, and the Dealeys are trying to tell me, you're part of this tradition. You're part of this long history. But I know what my blood is. And I am a James. And I'm part of my mother's side of the family. And that feud continues in me and in my brother and sister and to this day. <laughs>